Okay, your next job is to create a logo for your own company. But I thought a fun way for you to um, start would be to take this logo quiz. So click on the link that's posted below and go through the quiz and um, see how many you get right. But while you're doing so, I'd like you to pay attention to what's important there. Um, when you're making a logo, notice some of the similar um, characteristics of all these logos, such as they're pretty simple in design, but very recognizable. No more than three colors, and you want to avoid using text. Remember, it's just a symbol that is going to be recognizable to your business. So you're going to do that using paint, which is the which is quite simple, but remember you've got lots of tools in paint that you can use. You've got um, text tools that are very um, easy to use. I'm going to try to find that for you. Okay, so here's paint and um, you can expand it. A couple things I want you to pay attention to are the different symbols that you can use and you can use the paint bucket to uh, color them in, but now there's two colors right there. Um, if you are going to use a text and say you want to type something in the text, don't forget you can change the font size. It's a little slow here for me. <laughs> okay, it's not going to respond, but you can change the size to as big as you want. I'll just do this is ha. Okay, Z. I can redo that. All right. Um, if that's what I want, then I may want to get rid of this. I can use this select button and delete it. Maybe I want a different tool and fill it in, but not with red. So maybe I want. Um, it to be gray and I'm going to fill it in with gray then I want to put this on top of it so then I would have to select it but again this is lots of text so I don't recommend that we're going to have to give this a background of um, gray <laughs> so you're going to play if you want that to be there or maybe those are my three colors with white um, Again, you don't want to necessarily use um, any letters at all. When you're going through the uh, quiz, see how many actually have letters or uh, words in it. So think of more of a symbol. Um, these are lots of really fun tools to play with, pretty simple. So you want to explore that. Those of you who are up for a challenge, um, you may want to go to GIMP. There you can do much more layering and have fun with that. Um, but I am not as familiar with that. I'll show you. A I'm going to show you a couple sample logos that I made for in the past um, to give you an idea of ones that were made. This was a logo I made in GIMP. Okay. So it was resized so that it would fit on the website correctly, as is that one. And um, this was one that was made in paint. Of course, I resized both of these, but just to give you an idea of different um, things that you can do. GIMP has a lot more um, tools to use and, like I said, layering. So you, those of you who are up for a challenge, go for it. Those of you who want it do things a little bit more simply, go ahead and, and just stay with paint. Either one is acceptable. But when you go to save your project, you're going to have to make sure you save it as quality, high quality for on the web. And again, you want to make sure you save it on your name on the Panda server. We will do we will be using this logo, of course, not, this is not a good example of a logo, but we will be using the logo you create 
on your website, on your flyer, on your business cards, even in your commercial. So um, choose colors that you want to stick with, have fun doing it, and um, be sure to save it. I'll be looking for it at our next class.